Now, it is World Rhino Day today, but the harsh and very sobering reality is that rhino as a species is tiptoeing towards absolute extinction, especially the black rhino, which means the role that rangers play, our rhino rangers especially, is vital now. In fact, they are our last line of defense, but they can't do it alone. So step in canine conservation, where our rangers and our four-legged friends work as a team to protect one of our most precious natural resources. Utilizing the keen sense of smell, sight and speed of a dog to protect wildlife is the innovative operation of canine conservation. The canines trained for conservation support are carefully selected for their intricate and demanding job. In order to utilize a canine in the industry that we are working in, we generally get the dogs in as young dogs, nine weeks old, ten weeks old, and from there the training starts. We're basically learning every day, our dogs are learning, we're learning, and we're applying what we're learning in the training that we do as well. Each puppy receives training for a certain skill set, which is based on the dog's temperament. The handler is trained on how to work with the dog and its speciality, as well as the use of equipment in their kit. Some of the kit and equipment that we issue our people with is obviously relatively expensive, but it's good stuff, good quality kit and equipment. It has to be because of the, of the threat that we're facing. So just to take you through it, this is a level 3 special body armor jacket. It is designed to stop heavy caliber bullets from firearms. And then I have a tracking collar. So whenever we're out there in the field working, the dogs have a tracking collar on them. It has a light indicator for at night if we want to see where the dog is. This is the handheld unit that stays inside the jacket over there. So at any one time I can see, if my dog's off lead, I can see where it is. The tracking collars do have training functions. We use vibrate, beep. There is a shocking uh, function on these collars, but we do not use that. We don't believe in that. And obviously the dogs themselves, we carry first aid kits, we carry water, we carry everything else that we need in order to be able to operate effectively out there. Specific breeds like Weimaraners, Belgian and German Shepherds work well in conservation support because of their physical prowess, but wild animals are a danger to these dogs. We lost one canine from a lioness. We learned the hard way on that one. The snakes, we actually train the dogs not to engage with snakes. Heat during the daytime can be an issue, especially during summer. When one dog gets hot, we immediately another dog takes over with that handler and off you go. There's probably in the region of about 200 snares just over here. These devices or illegal hunting traps, which you will find all over Africa, are probably responsible for killing more wild animals than any other thing on this planet. They're used by bushmeat poachers to ensnare animals and entrap animals and then kill them for their meat. Okay, so 200 snares taken out of the natural environment, 200 animals' lives saved. So what I've done is I've built this uh, model of a mock-up of a rhino and I'm now covering it with snares. And all the students that come here for training, if we, we go out in the field and we find snares out there, they come and put the snares onto this rhino. So one day, it will be a, a work of art. So I'm changing a deadly device into a work of art. Because the demand for this type of canine and handler training has become so high, Conrad and his team are in the process of building their own training facility. He hopes to empower wildlife rangers from around the world to protect more endangered species. I like to think that we've saved a lot more animals than what have been destroyed on our watch. Remember, we work protecting not just rhino, the flagship species, but we protect all other species of wildlife as well. It's sad that wild animals are being decimated at such a rapid rate, but there are many passionate conservationists making a difference, and some of them are four-legged furry friends. When he's healthier, he's happier. And a dog's tail never lies. Give him the science of happy, found in Hills, the brand recommended by vets worldwide.